when a fire breaks out in a home, the obvious thing is to grab your children and get out. But what happens when you get killed and when the police look for your children, they are nowhere to be found? On today's case, we'll be looking at the Mattery sisters, the sisters who just vanished. But before I get started with the video, as per usual, I always say don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment, but most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell so each time I post a video, you know about it. In 1977, Ivy lived in Compton, California. She stayed with her mother, Erlene Williams, her sister, Violet Mattery, as well as her half-sister, Yolanda Williams. On July 20th, 1977, a boy named Sir Christopher Marshall spent the night at the Mattery and Williams' home. He also vanished. At 4.30 a.m., the house caught fire and burned to the ground. Erlene Williams' body was found inside by the front door. She had been strangled. All the children disappeared from the home. A trail of blood was seen from the home leading up to the alley where it stopped. Erlene was estranged from her husband, James Williams, at the time of her death. They had separated because he was charged with molestation as well as rape in connection with a 1976 attack on Ivy. James Williams was questioned and released the day after the fire. He was then arrested when it was found that the autopsy results showed that Erlene Williams was a homicide victim. In 1976, James was additionally charged with the murder of the four children. Authorities stated that the children were supposed to testify against James Williams with regards to the sexual abuse case. The case was scheduled on the 21st of July, the day before the children disappeared. James Williams was tried twice and in both instances the jury reached a deadlock but when he was supposed to be tried the third time in 1979 for the murders of five people his case was dismissed. He's now deceased. In 2014, the skeletal remains of Ivy were found in Corona, California, just an hour's drive east of Compton. The other children have never been found. 